friends. Hi, it's Sam from DIY Huntress. Hope everyone is doing well. I am so stoked about today's video because today is finally the full reveal of the four week bathroom renovation that actually took us 10 weeks to complete, but who's counting anyway? If you've been following along on my channel, then you were hopefully caught up to speed a little bit on this renovation project. First we demoed, and then I tiled the bathroom floor, and now we are here. I never thought I would see this day come. I am so excited about how this bathroom turned out, and I cannot wait to share it all with you. We are about to go on a DIY journey, an emotional roller coaster, a renovation adventure together in this little space. There is so much to cover in this video from start to finish, so enough talking. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by my amazing friends at American Standard. So let's start at the very beginning for my friends who are just tuning in. This is the bathroom or was the bathroom in my house. It is the only bathroom in my house, which is why it needs to be renovated before we move in. Anyway, aesthetically speaking, there's really nothing wrong with this bathroom, but structurally there was a lot wrong with this bathroom. Tiles were falling off and things were not installed properly. There was water damage. We had some structural issues in the wall. It was kind of a hot mess, but like the hot mess was hiding behind a not so hot mess, if that makes sense. I do have a full kind of like intro to this project slash demo video on my channel if you want to learn a lot more about the specifics of this space and why we decided to fully gut it. So definitely check that out. I will link it below this video. But for purposes of this full makeover video, we are going to jump right on in. So first order of business was to fully gut this bathroom. So my partner in crime, my dad, and I came on into this bathroom and we demoed the entire thing in a day and a half. He decided to go full dad mode on most of it and just like rip out chunks of drywall with his hands like a beast while I focused more on like removing tiles which actually came out very easily because like I mentioned earlier, a lot of these tiles were not installed properly and kind of just like popped off of the walls and the floors. Once demo was complete though, it was time to focus on starting the rebuild. So dad started with some plumbing work in the shower. I cannot wait to show you the shower later in this video. And then I worked on some two by four slash structural things to get these walls ready for drywall. It looks so good in here. It looks so good in here. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So now that you got the quick and dirty on the demo in this bathroom, once the drywall was up, it was time for me to focus on tiling the floors. Now, again, I have a very in-depth video on how I did this on my channel, so please check that out if you are interested. But once those floors were tiled, I then primed and painted, and then it was time to move on to the shower. And spoiler alert, the shower did not go as easy as the demo work did in this bathroom. <laughs> All right, let's do a check-in. I'm not even gonna bother putting this microphone on. Ugh, I'm clearly in such a rotten mood right now. <laughs> oh, where do I begin? So, hi friends. I feel like today was a bad day in the bathroom. Today was not a great day. I feel like though I haven't had many issues in this bathroom since, since the beginning, but I just feel like maybe this was bound to happen eventually and today was my day. Out of context, it totally sounds like I'm talking about having a stomach bug. I swear I'm renovating a bathroom. So today was supposed to be shower floor install day. And as you can see, I do not have a shower floor install. So I'm really bummed out. I'm like super bummed out today. Basically long story short or short-ish, I chose the layout of the floor in this bathroom. You can see a lot more of it in my last video where I like I talk about installing the tile floor in the bathroom. But yeah, I chose the layout of this floor for a very particular reason. I wanted the illusion of this bathroom floor going through the entire bathroom so that when you looked into the bathroom, it looked like the floor, like waterfall wrapped around the ledge and then into the shower as like one continuous floor. But I should have done my research and I didn't do my research and I'm like kicking myself for not doing my stupid research. And basically large format tiles, like the ones that I use for the floor, are not great for showers that have a drain in the center of them. They don't allow enough flexibility to be able to create a proper slope into the drain for the water to drain in the shower the right way. So clearly, clearly, I learned that the hard way today during tile install, which actually I didn't even film because my dad and I were both in here working and it was really chaotic. And I'm actually glad I didn't film it because at the end of us getting like probably five tiles down and realizing like the slope wasn't gonna work, my dad and I were very defeated and so here I am. <laughs> um, okay, so that being said, that's out. 
Now I'm super bummed because I feel like my floor layout makes zero sense. And now every time I look at, at my floor, I'm like, well, cool. It doesn't do that effect that I wanted it to do, but whatever, I'm not ripping up the floor. I feel like I did a pretty great job tiling it. I'm actually really proud of this tile job. So I'm gonna make it work, right? Like make lemon cookies with lemons. <laughs> I'd say lemonade, but I actually really could use a good comfort lemon cookie right now. Anyway, so yeah, so as you can see, I did get these front pieces up on the ledge today. And then I, I really honestly though did this after hours of work here with my dad and that not working out. So I'm done, like I'm just done. I'm done, I'm frustrated, I'm tired. I'm gonna call it a day. Back to the drawing board. So I'm gonna go eat my feelings in Sour Patch Kids and go binge The Masked Singer because that's like my guilty pleasure right now. And yeah. I'm gonna call it a day and I will see see everyone in this bathroom tomorrow, hopefully with better news and a better game plan. Oh, Sam, how optimistic you are. Yeah, that better news and better game plan did not happen because here's the skinny. So I ended up going out and buying some tile at a local place and we installed it thinking like, this is totally gonna work. But again, spoiler alert. It did not work. Um, the tile were defect and we had to rip them up. Okay, friends. Yeah. Let's have a moment together. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling like really bummed out because my first idea for the shower didn't work out because the tiles were too large. And then I tried smaller tiles and then those tiles I got from like a discount tile store that was local and they were defect. So like now I understand why they were discounted tiles. So after two, not one, but two failed attempts at trying to tile my shower, my dad and I ripped up the shower floor and it's, we need to start fresh. Honestly, I had my moment of being an emo kid and like listening to my pop punk playlist and then like crying on my bathroom floor after ripping up the floor for the second time and then i decided you know what i'm gonna put my big girl skinny jeans on <laughs> and i'm gonna have to put my pride aside and ask for help friends who know me in real life know how hard it is for me to ask for help from people other than my dad, but like also it's not fair for me to always ask him for help with everything because he has his own life. But yeah, I'm really bad at asking for help. I get yelled at all the time by my brothers for it because a huge part of myself just prides myself on doing things by myself and like the do it yourself mentality and like getting things done. And I really, really wanted to just like do this bathroom myself and prove to myself that I could do all of it. And it's just, it's too much. So yeah, I decided that I'm going to hire a real pro tiler to come on in and to tile my shower for me. And I'm having a really rough time with that decision. Like I'm honestly not 100% okay with it, but I also know that if I don't do this, we're never gonna have a bathroom because it's been really hard to juggle this bathroom renovation and my full-time job and running a business and like trying to get content out, whatever. So I'm gonna put my pride aside and I hired someone. Yeah, I hope you guys still love me even though I'm not DIYing my own shower tile. I kind of feel like a fraud. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie and I know I'm not. It's okay to ask for help. This is gonna get done while I'm at work next week. So this is kind of a win-win situation, honestly. I just have to get past my own ish. All right, so that being said, very soon we will be able to finally, finally see a shower come to life and see this bathroom come to life. Once that shower is done, there are other things I can work on in that bathroom and I can get on back to doing what I like to do most, which is DIYing stuff. So, all right, friends, I can't promise I'm not going to listen to my emo pop punk playlist. So even though I was kind of at a standstill with the shower at this point, there was still a lot to be done in the bathroom. So dad and I were full speed ahead, starting with installing the new toilet in our bathroom. So American Standard has this pretty epic line of toilets right now. And we decided to go for the Champion 4 Max toilet with, of course, a soft close seat. And the reason I chose this toilet in particular is not only because it looks really nice, but also because it is a water efficient toilet that still offers superior flushing performance, which means that it virtually eliminates clogging, which is great for me because who wants to unclog a toilet? 
Another selling point for me, honestly, was that it does come with an ever clean surface, which helps inhibit the growth of mold, mildew, and bacteria that can stain and cause odors, which keeps the toilet cleaner for longer. I can confidently say that I've never been this excited about a toilet or sharing a toilet with all of you on my channel. Once that toilet was installed though, it was time to move on to the vanity. This is round two, round two of this vanity. Whoever's putting bad juju on my bathroom renovation, I'm gonna kindly have to ask you to stop. Not my house. <laughs> Dad is still like, not my house. But no, this is round two of this vanity. The first one came very broken, and the second one came intact. So we're putting in the vanity today. Dad's got his plumber, plumber's putty ready. My plumber's putty moose dish. Now that the vanity was finally here and intact, it was time to install my gorgeous modern American Standard Studio S faucet in this yummy matte black finish. I seriously love this faucet because it looks good and it's water scent certified, which means it'll save me water and money over time. And since installation was super simple, I trusted dad to install the rest of the faucet while I moved on to customizing the inside of the vanity. So since this bathroom is pretty small, I want to just like eliminate any clutter that I can. So to do that, I installed a custom outlet to the inside of the drawer of the vanity so I can hide away things that need to charge like electric toothbrushes or hair trimmers or whatever. This is actually a really cool system and what I had done was make sure that there was a hookup for this behind the vanity before we install the vanity. So getting this whole setup situated was super, super simple. But as always, I will link this as well as all of the products, all the materials and all of the good stuff that I've mentioned in this video on my website and below this video. You can find all of that in the video description. So once that drawer and the gorgeous new faucet were installed on the vanity, it was time to install the vanity itself. And it did need a few more adjustments once in the space to fit, but it actually fit beautifully. By the way, hold on. Yeah, dad, talk about dad terminology. Dad, what do you call a flathead screwdriver? A regular screwdriver. A regular screwdriver. So he ever asks for a regular screwdriver, that means he needs a flathead screwdriver. A flat head. A regular screwdriver. I think that's what you meant. Man, I love that dude. We make a really awesome team. So if you hop, skip, and jump back like two seconds, you may catch a quick sneak peek at the tile in the shower. And that's because as we were installing this vanity, the tile installer was actually able to come and start installing tiles in the shower, which was awesome. So by the time this vanity was fully installed, he had come on in and finished the shower and it looks amazing. And I cannot wait to show you in the next clip. Okay, I just got home from work. And while I was at work, the tile installer was here finishing the shower and this is my first time seeing oh my god it looks so good it looks insane this looks amazing i'm so excited to check this out <gasps> can we talk about the shower i can't believe that this is mine like this is in my house this means that i can officially officially come back on in here install the shower heads get the door in do some cleanup and we're good to go. I can't believe this is mine. <laughs> I'm freaking out. It looks so good, it looks so good. Why is my coffee in the closet? Okay friends, we have good news and we have bad news. Let's start with the bad news. The bad news is it took two weeks to get the tiles done, which means that we're two weeks behind schedule. But the good news is that means we had time to make shirts. <laughs> Dad mode, baby. And not my house mugs. Hey, get out of the way. Oh, sorry. Get, get, get. They want to see me. <laughs> so dad and I had time to get some shirts made for your new line of t-shirts. Yep. That everyone wanted for you. That's so right. congratulations. Thank you guys. So we have some not my house and some full dad, dad mode. mode. So do it yourself with my fancy new logo, logo. on the back. Whoa, you're gonna yeah, to be right over. There. And we also have some other stuff too. So we got t-shirts, mm -hmm. sweatshirts, mugs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can find all of my this. dad's line, my dad's fashion line. That's next, <laughs> that's going on a shirt next. Your mug on a mug? My mug on a mug, oh, the Jeez. mug on a mug. 
You came Genius. up with that. Mug on a mug. Mug on a mug. Hey. Yeah, don't spill mine. It actually has coffee you in it. Up. <laughs> so you can find full dad mode shirts, not my house shirts, other dad related apparel <laughs> on my on my apparel store, which is linked below this video and also on my website, and I'll also link it in my bio. And to celebrate the launch, we are gonna do a 10% off sale. What should the code be? Not my house. Code not my house. NMH. NMH? Okay. Not my house. NMH. Only the cool kids know what that stands for. That's right. So with code NMH, you'll get 10% off your purchase of DIY Huntress Apparel. It's not forever, so go swipe it up. That's right. All right, we got some plumbing work to do. <laughs> you got some plumbing work to do. On that note, I gotta go. All right, let's get these fixtures in. I'm gonna have a shower. Dad, I'm gonna be able to shower. About time. <laughs> I'm leaving Dad with the camera because I have to take a conference call. So, Dad, behave yourself. See? Not a good idea. Okay, can I show you something? This has been requested by my subs. They would like to see what it's like to give you a camera and let you go. So this is going to be a good um, experiment. You can see me, but I'm very nervous to watch this footage. Very nervous. <laughs> okay. What? I might be here. Honestly, I was so nervous to leave him alone with a camera, but you asked for this, and so this is what you get. And she thought I was going to be bad on camera. So as you can see, I left dad alone to install these gorgeous Studio S fixtures from American Standard. There was only one thing that Chris asked for in this entire house, and that was multiple shower heads. And American Standard delivered with these gorgeous matte black rain shower heads. P.S. Side note, can we talk about how proud I am of my dad for knowing to adjust the camera? Little adjustment. But anyway, let's talk about all of these beautiful shower heads. So in addition to the rain shower heads, I also ordered two contemporary hand shower kits as well and two Studio S2 handle diverter kits from American Standard. And what this allows me to do is use all four of these shower heads at the same time. Now for the moment of truth. Not one, but two. Look at dad giving Vanna White a run for her money. Go dad, go. Alright guys, if you want to do shower heads, she got them. So both the shower heads are going. And that's all folks. Honestly, can we just give like a round of applause for dad for his excellent camera work and amazing host qualities. Ugh, they grow up so fast. Let's get back to business though. So. I needed to install some brackets in order to hang my gorgeous contemporary hand shower kits on the wall. So I did that by drilling directly into the porcelain tile. And once those were installed, I then used some caulking just to seal any gaps between my fixtures and the tiles. And once that was done, it was time for shower doors. Figured we'd do a little morning intro before we start this next project and probably start cursing and get kicked off of YouTube. Uh, today is shower door install day. We're clearly not so stoked about this one. Woo hoo. <laughs> We're a little nervous about installing these shower doors on our you're own. You're a little nervous. Pretending like you're not nervous about this? You're a little nervous. What are you? It's not my house. <laughs> So to save some money on these shower doors, I actually purchased a shower door kit for about $700 and that saved me way over $1,000 on this entire shower door experience. However, we had to install it ourselves, which was super sketchy because anytime you work with giant panes of glass, it's just sketchy. So we took our time, it took all day. We also got some emotional support from our buddies and we got it done. Mm. Boys ready for a bath? Oh, there they go, and there they go. That was a magic word. I literally could have cried actual happy tears getting this door installed because once it was installed, that meant that this project was basically done and it was just time for like small finishing touches. Wow! Oh. Uh, I never thought I'd live to see this day. I gotta go home now. Okay, okay. I quit. Okay. You're in a rest. <laughs> 
One thing that I loved about the shower door was that the hardware perfectly matched with my gorgeous matte black American Standard fixtures throughout the entire bathroom and it just tied everything in so nicely. And once that shower door was in, I definitely wanted to try out all four of the shower heads to see how they worked. And oh my goodness, I was so excited about it. Working at the car wash, the car wash. Yeah. So as excited as I was about the shower, there was still work to be done, including adding trim to the bathroom, hanging my new vanity light, hanging my new mirror, which ended up being way heavier than I thought that it was going to be. And also, of course, this would not be a DIY Huntress project unless there was some sort of woodworking project element. So I did decide to make some custom shelves for above the toilet as well. For this super simple woodworking project, I just used a couple of one inch thick by six inch wide boards, cut them to size, stained them in a super rich gel stain, gave them about three or four coats of polyurethane, making sure to sand between each coat. And then I hung them on the wall using some black metal brackets to match the rest of the fixtures in my gorgeous new bathroom. Once those shelves were done though, all that was really left in this bathroom was to do some finishing touches like paint the trim and make sure things were nice and neat and caulked and sealed. And I also make sure to hang some decorative shades on the window as well. I know it already has shades built in, but I just wanted something a little richer on the window just for a little pop of color. Even though I have been working in this bathroom for the past couple of months, I almost like still can't believe that it's mine and that I get to live here and that I get four shower heads and that this is my space. Like I'm so blown away by how incredible this bathroom looks and how well it just fits our vibe and our lifestyle. I am so incredibly grateful to American Standard for making my dreams come true in my first house and in my first full bathroom renovation. And I cannot begin to tell you how grateful I am to my dad for all of his help and his hard work in this space. It has been such an amazing journey getting to renovate this house with him. I know this project took longer than anticipated for me and for you, so thank you all so much for your patience, your love, your support, your encouragement, and your excitement about this project as well as every space in my house. I have so many projects coming up in this first house of mine that I cannot wait to continue to share with all of you, so please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell if you have not already. I am so thankful for all of you every single day, and I cannot wait to continue to share projects with you. There is so much coming up, so I do hope that you will stick around. But until then, friends, as always, thanks so much for all of your love. I will see you soon with a new project. But until then, friends, happy DIYing.